Hello everybody and welcome to Artistic Zeal Productions. Today I'm going to show you how to create a spray of bullets. We're going to shoot up a car uh, on, and we're going to use After Effects to do that. It looks something like this. Yeah, this sounds great! Okay, awesome, you know. Okay, let's do that one more time. Yeah, this sounds great! Okay, awesome, you know. So what we have is a car here that I shot in the parking lot and we added some we did some tracking on the on the shot here and we added the bullet holes we added some sparks the little glass breaking and the sound effects to make it a little bit as realistic as we can so uh, let's get started so what we're going to do i'm in after effects we're going to start a new composition 720 by 46 10 seconds hit okay now our footage that we shot i'm going to drag that into our composition here uh, it's a little bit too large, so we're going to uh, transform it. Go to Transform and Fit to Comp. That'll adjust it. Now, the footage that I shot is not on a tripod. I'm hand-holding it, as you can see. Uh, there is a little bit of movement. That little bit of movement is going to add a lot to uh, your special effects. So we want to make sure we have a little bit of movement so we can track and add our bullet holes so it sells it and makes it more realistic. So let's go ahead and, and do some tracking with the tracker that's built in, in After Effects. Let's go up to composition, not composition, I'm sorry, go to layer, go to new, and we're going to add a null object. Now, on the footage, as you can see, I have Nally. Here's our actress Nally that uh, did a great job for our little tutorials. Uh, she's passing this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to track the, the side mirror and the door, the door handle, and we're going to add the bullets as they pass pass right behind her. So the reason we're going to do that is if we track it before she passes in front, it's going to mess up your track. So make sure that when you shoot your footage that you have a clean slate, a clean area to track so that way it doesn't get messed up and you have to manually adjust it. So let's go over to our our timeline here. I'm going to drag that null object to about where we need it to start. So as she passes by there, I think we'll start there. Okay, now go ahead and select your footage. If you don't have the tracker already as a as a tab over here, you can go up to Window and select Tracker on there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit Track Motion, and it's going to give us one track point. We want to add a second one, so if you go to Rotation over here, it'll give you the two tracking points. Now I'm going to use the again the rear the side mirror and the door handle. So if you hold the keyboard spacebar, it'll give you a little hand, and you can move to the footage so you can see where you're going to put these tracking points. So I'm going to pick the first one. I'm going to put it right on that circle there. It's kind of a nice little area. The second one I'm going to move over to this keyhole here. There we go and let's analyze forward so on the right hand side the little play looking button go ahead and click that and it'll track forward okay that actually looks pretty good so if we go to our timeline here and scrub through seems to track it fairly well okay so if we're happy with what we've tracked here, go back over to the Tracker tab, of, uh, tab and select the Edit Target. We're going to select our Null Object that we just created. And we're going to go ahead and apply it. The X and Y values is what we want. Hit OK. And then we have our tracking motion. You can see our, our points that are being tracked. And it's connected to our Null Object. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to add our our bullet holes so let's go over now the bullet holes that I have I I actually have the action essentials uh, video pack from video copilot a great product so if you do have those please uh, take advantage of it. it's great stuff uh, if you don't have that you can draw in or create your own bullet holes on Photoshop or you can find them on YouTube actually uh, same thing with the little sparks that we're gonna add on there you can find those on YouTube but uh, take a look at uh, video copilot it's great stuff Love Andrew Kramer. All right, so our bullet holes, I got two of them on here. What I'm going to do is we're going to just use those two and we're going to flip them around so that way it gives a little variety so it doesn't look like the same static shot. Uh, when you bring that into the timeline, it's going to be huge. So let's move this one over right at the front here, right? 
and we're going to adjust the size. Now on your keyboard, if you hit the comma, it'll zoom out a little bit. Now we're going to click one of the corners here, hold down the shift key, and that'll keep everything uniformed. Now make sure that your bullet holes aren't monstrous, like a monster size hole, because then it just doesn't look so real. It's got to be pretty small. So I'm going to start over here in this corner. I think it still looks a little bit too big. So let's bring it down a little bit in size. That seems to be okay. So let's go ahead and bring the second one on there. Again, it's going to be huge. So let's adjust the size. Still a little bit too big. We're going to try to keep it about the same size there. Okay, that looks all right. Let's move that over here somewhere. And then on our timeline, let's grab that and drag it over just a few a few frames over. So you can see pops pops. Okay. Now the one thing we don't have on there is we we're not tracking it yet. So let's parent parent our bullet holes to our null object. So you have the pickwick here. Grab that, drag it over to the null object. Same thing with the other bullet hole, do the same thing. And that will add and connect it to our tracking point. So as you can see, it tracks with the shot that we just did. So let's move forward a little bit and we're gonna grab that, that same bullet hole, we're gonna duplicate it. So you can hit Control D, it'll duplicate, move that up to the top, we'll drag it over on your timeline so it's the next shot that pops up and then grab it, move it over. So maybe right about here or so. Same thing, now we're gonna pick the, the, that middle one, we're gonna duplicate that one. Remember, you want it in order, so bring that up and to the top. Let's move, our, move, it, move it over on our timeline and that way it'll pop up there too. And we're gonna grab that one. Let's move it over here somewhere. Okay. Now let's also rotate it. That's the one thing I didn't do with that previous one. We're just gonna twist it a little bit so it looks a little bit different. This one, same thing. We're just gonna twist it a little bit. So pop, 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 pop. Let's do one more. Let's duplicate. Let's drag it to the top. Let's move it over on our timeline. Let's get our select tool, grab it, move it over here. And let's rotate it a little bit. Okay, now the last one that we're gonna add is going to be, well, before we move on to the to the glass breaking, let's adjust the transparency on this, the opacity, because I'm thinking it's just a little bit too bright. Let's just adjust the opacity to, I don't know, let's say 70%, okay? So we're gonna copy that. So if you control C, select all the other bullet holes, control V, and it'll adjust the opacity on all of those. So that way it kind of blends in with the color of the car and it doesn't make it look so stark and bright. It'll, it'll make it look a little bit more real. Okay, so that looks good. Let's zoom out a little bit and we're gonna add our glass breaking. Now I have a windshield hole Again, from Action Essentials, that one's really big. Let's adjust the size. Bring that down. Move that over to our glass here. Bring it down again. It's a little bit too big. Okay, now 
we're going to remove that black mat. So if we go over to our mode, let's go to add, and it'll get rid of that. Okay, and then back to our timeline, let's move it over. So that way it appears where it's supposed to. And make sure we parent that to our null object also. Okay. So now it'll pop and show that little. Now I also have a, um, a little bit of animation showing a glass breaking. Let me see if I can find that. Where did I put that? A glass hit. And we're going to put that on there too. <clears throat> Let's move that over to right in front where the, the bullet hole goes on the glass. Let's adjust the size of that. We're going to move that right over, right in front of that. Well, I'm, I'm thinking it's a little bit too big, but it just adds a little bit more to it. Like, <clears throat> it shows a little bit of glass breaking. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we're going to go ahead and parent that also to the null object. So now we have glass flying. Okay, so we have shot, 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 glass breaking. All right, now the little sparks, we're going to add those in front too. So let's move that on top here. As you can see, we have on our timelines just a quick second, and let's move it over in front of the first bullet hole. So we're going to put it right in the front the first bullet hole let's see where it explodes okay so let's change adjust the size of that because it's huge and move it right on top of that bullet hole okay and let's parent that also to our null object So now let's see, really quick here, let's play it. So there's our a quick spark. So we're going to do the same thing to the other ones. We're going to add another one. So let's duplicate this one, move it up one level, and make it fit right on top of the next hole. Make sure you selected it, and move it over to this guy. So you can see that these are all similar to setting up the bullet holes. You're just gonna layer the sparks right on top, give it a little twist, and move on to the next one. So very easy to do. So I'm gonna fast forward our production here so we can save it on a little bit of time. All right, everybody, so you can see that we've added the sparks to each one of those bullet holes on the side of the car. And uh, we twisted it, adjusted it so it doesn't look uniform or it doesn't look like the same spark coming onto it uh, but as you can see it looks really nice and flows all the way up to the glass on the side of the the door there and has a little bit of a glass breaking so it adds to that realism the next thing you need to do is is go into your editing suite whatever you're using adobe final cut sony uh, you want to add the sound effects of the bullet holes of the bullet being shot through a gun or through a weapon and hitting the car uh, what I did is I found a silencer uh, sound effect online and just added that silencer effect and just put it onto each bullet hole. So it kind of made a nice little resounding uh, ping to it. So uh, that and the little glass breaking and it'll, add, it'll make it look really good. Thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to see one of the other tutorials for this workshop, go ahead and click, a, click on those and we'll see you next time.